Moxon's honest reactions. I am Moxon, and this is my Earth 2 Superman counterpart, Dante Carver. How you guys doing? What's up, everybody? Akasun here. So, I told you I knew people here in Japan, baby. Um, so Dante the uh, swinged on by here, flew on by, I should say, uh, rocking out his uh, Earth 2 style. I decided to do my kind of Thomas Wayne kind of thing. I don't know, but uh, we, we were... It was good. Yeah, thank you. Good. I, I appreciate that, man. Yeah, it is weird. I'm actually here, like, co- doing something. Yeah, right? yeah, it's not I'm usually by myself, so I'm only used to talking to myself and the people of the Red Dreaded Nation. Yeah, it's actually nice to be able to do something with someone else that's not stressful. <laughs> yeah, and, and I mean that in a, in a work way. A lot of work that I do here, it's it's super stressed out because no one really relaxes when you gotta do it. Just like, enjoy that what you true. do. That enjoy is true. That is true. Enjoy what you do and just do it. And if you don't know, because I know most of my audience is primarily Western states, uh, American and uh, UK and Australia, um, Dante is actually extremely famous here in Japan. More famous than me, if you can believe it. I know. I know. <laughs> um, but uh, you're you're yeah. basically the you're you're an actual staple of Japan. Then. Yeah, I've been um, doing commercial and film here for the past ten and a half years, almost eleven. Um, most of the commercials and stuff that I do is with SoftBank, the yeah. largest cell phone company here, um, and pretty much everything else that goes along with it. You it's guys. Fun. <laughs> English and in Japanese. <laughs> you guys don't know, but the people paying for my Wi-Fi are taking care of my Wi-Fi and such. SoftBank is right around the corner, so I just decided to troll them because they were closed. And, yeah, I was, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, fuck this shit. I knocked in the door and they're like, see my sin, see my sin. And then Dante rolls in, like, takes like, his hat off, and you're like, oh. Let's get, let's get some of this. Let's oh, some of this. God. Anyway. <laughs> Anyways, let's get to what the people really want to see. We were, yes. we were just talking about this, like... I, you guys think I get sidetracked, he gets really sidetracked just yeah. talking about DC, you're a huge <laughs> fan. Huge fan of DC. That's um, why his name, his mama named him after DC, Dante Carver, so. so. Most people here, they do call me DC, that's my nickname here. Um, huge Superman fan, but I'm a DC fan. Um, don't get me wrong, I like Marvel and things too, but my heart is in DC, and I want to show DC some more love here in Japan, just to, you know, keep things fresh, keep things moving. You would love my homie J-Roar. Uh, What's up, J-Roar? <laughs> Hope to meet you one day. This is true. Now, uh, we were talking about Flashpoint Paradox, the anime. Yeah, which was The awesome. comic as well, which yeah. was changed, brought into New 52, and Very you true. didn't know about the fan film, so we're going to go ahead and... No, when you mentioned that, I thought you were talking about an animated fan film, and it's not, so... Uh, yeah, yeah I it's amazing. It. I cried when I saw it. You're about to check it out. It's All right. time to get into it. So... You guys know what to do. Pop me up. And yeah, the MacBook Pro doesn't make the pop sound. All right, and here we go. Oh, no. We are, okay. we have, we've seen that <coughs> seven times. Yes, seven. Eight next week. My name is Barry Allen. And I am the fastest man alive. When I was a child, I saw my mother killed by something impossible. My father went to prison for her murder. Then an accident made me the impossible. I know you're upset. But I'm giving you a chance. I'm giving you a chance to undo all the evil I've done. Don't you want that chance? One different decision, no matter how big or small, impacts everything that follows. Moments upon moments, choices upon choices. Nothing would be as it is today, and you'd never know the difference because you'd never remember any of it. Do you think I can do this? I can save my mom. I mean, do you think I'm fast enough? I know you are. Break the sound barrier and there's a sonic boom. You broke the time barrier, Flash. Ripples of distortion radiated out to that point of impact, shifting everything just a tiny bit, but enough. Oh, easy. Bruce, wait! Bruce is dead. You're his father. You're Tom 
must wait. I need to recreate the conditions of the accident that turned me into the Flash. <laughs> yes, right? God, this you, edit is sweet. Oh. That, oh, what? <laughs> oh my god. I think. Ah, right. What? <laughs> that was dope, right? Okay, that was one of the best fan films I've ever seen. Yeah. The way they, the way that they <laughs> edited that, <laughs> like, the way they put together Thomas Wayne. Yes, yes. In both in costume and out of costume yeah. was sweet. It was exactly from Flashpoint Paradox. It was like Barry was getting electrocuted. He was getting electrocuted like, and things and he's sitting there smoking <laughs> watching perfect. him. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah. That and then you also have him going back in time trying to save his mom and the flashes for lack of a better term mm -hmm. that are coming up man that was sweet like i'm a huge fan of the show yeah i i, I love the show um most of the cw stuff i watch is just amazing but flash is one of my favorite shows mainly because of the way it's written and the characters they introduce into it yes uh... and seeing that Oh, man, right? I, I've seen all of it so far, and I really want to watch it again, mm -hmm. just from that. Just from that, like I think what's perfect about that editing was um, because I wasn't a big fan of uh, Grant uh, Gustin. Um, mm -hmm. uh, like I, could, I wasn't really attached to him until really like season two um, for really? me. Like, or, or how can I exactly can I explain it? Like I felt that he had an amazing supporting cast, and mm -hmm. I could get behind. Find him, but I didn't like feel like him. I couldn't vicariously live through right. him um, because he's not my kind of character type of thing. Um, I'm more of like a Harrison Wells crazy psychopath dude. But but the point is, um, for me, like I just didn't, I couldn't see him as the Flash. Like be, like this was like Flash Begins for me, season one. Right. Now he's finally starting to develop. To come into his own. Kind of. I mean, he's always saying develop he's new powers and things. Fastest man alive, but everybody's faster than him in the show. But but this being said, um, I don't know something about the way that was edited, and it just showed him taking off his mm -hmm. mask, smiling. I'm like, holy dude, this is my Flash. Like yeah. he is. Like, and I guess that's kind of the way it works sometimes is like we get introduced to these new characters or right. new right. actors playing characters we don't, we're not familiar, I mean, we're familiar with the characters, right. but they play it differently. Um, but we have this weird irk about it in the beginning. Mm -hmm. For example, like Mark R R R Ruffalo. Ruffalo as the Hulk. Hulk. I couldn't really see him as the Hulk in the first Avengers, but the second one, I'm like, yeah, this is, yeah, what the fuck are you talking about? And the same, you could say, like, uh, uh, Ben Affleck as Batman. Mm. Um, it yeah, a lot more. of people were like, there's no way he can pull it off. I can't believe you chose him. Well, I'm boycotting, da da da. I'm like this. I, not just as an actor, but it's entertainment. Right. Give the person a chance to portray the character that they're eventually going to portray because you don't know. It's That's like, damn good advice. Yeah, those those doubters out there. And, and even if you have doubts, that's good. You should have those reservations because you want them to do a good job. Correct. But trust in them to be able to do it or at least give it their best. It may not be the interpretation that you like per se, but it doesn't mean that they didn't do a good job. I completely agree with that. Um, <laughs> ben Affleck as Batman I thought was pretty damn sweet because it was completely different from 
every other iteration I've seen. Same thing with Henry Cavill. And that, might be, yeah, that might be where I fall on the other side of, mm. like, because it's so different from everything we've seen already, it's hard for me to be like, mm. is this really... It's, it's hard, it's hard is to, this a Batman? to like, accept is, kind of thing. Like, uh, yeah. do I like him or not like him? You still or just, dude, can I, like, like, no, I thought he did well with the role that was given to him, but mm. I, I personally felt like Snyder just... Snyder and the writing just changed the character so far from recognition that mm. um, it was harder for me to be like, is this really a guy I want to support? But, right. all that being said, Flashpoint, for me, I believe that Warner Brothers should actually take this route. I've told my the Red Dreaded Nation before, mm. it's like, after I saw Days of Future uh, Future and Past, out here we call it Future and the Past, so I always so. get... <laughs> In Japanese, it was uh, future and the past. So I always get confused when in English is future and the what? Future and the past? Future and the past. Future of the past. Yeah, okay. Anyways, um, all that being said, I was like, this is exactly what Warner Brothers needs to do because they have all the properties under mm. one house. How awesome would it be to have these multiverse crossovers? And I always just felt Flashpoint Paradox was like, I actually, I actually messaged... I actually messaged uh, Jeff Johns yeah. um, directly. <laughs> nice. And I was like, dude, can you please take a look at this fan film and please, I'm, look, I know you got, I know you're writing that next Batman movie. Could you please right. like, like, highly consider Flashpoint Paradox? Well, looking at how this past movie would be came out, right? Um, Flashpoint Paradox is not too, too far away. Right on. And that and I mean, <clears throat> even if it's only parts of it that are there which did pretty much get shown in the movie right sorry spoiler for anyone who hasn't seen it <laughs> um my bad but that also gives a chance for them to do things with other characters i agree which i like because of course i like my my trinity um, right I, I grew up on them i love them i like how they did trinity uh, in this world trinity that, that was here perfect. was was awesome and even even having aquaman in there using yeah, clips yes. from the Conan movie. Yes, like, that was perfect. That it was made sense, pretty right? Sweet. I like how they did that. It was great. Now, given he didn't have the ink on him that he does. Yeah, but and this one, but I'm like, hey, that's it's okay. a fan film. That, not <laughs> just a fan film, but it, it, look at it like this. Maybe that was a prequel before he, you know, took the throne. Good idea. So he get he so he gets the tattoos and things like that because it's part of you know his coming of age or whatever. All right, Red Dread Nation, stand up, speak up. Let me know what you guys think about this. We are we've talked about this before, but I'm sure you guys have a little bit more to say about this in everything. Leave a comment below, and we'll check you on the next one. Earth Two people signing out. See you. <laughs> All right, I run out of patience. On the roof. Hey everyone. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.